In this video, we're about to hit 72 miles an hour on a go-kart. Actually, I'm doing 72 miles per hour. Ike's doing 72 miles an hour. Don't try it at home. Don't do it. It's stupid. It's extremely dangerous. Don't do it. Enjoy. This is the key to 70 miles an hour. I like how it's lined up with your hubball. <laughs> That's right. So, bada bing, bada boom, zzz, zzz. Slap her on there. Hull butt, right? Sounds good. 15 tooth sprocket. I'm gonna weld it to the clutch. Well, we have some really nice clutches that aren't worn out yet, and we just so happen to be going through the shelf at Acker Supply, and someone had put their used go-kart clutch in a brand new bag and, and returned it. And all the teeth have been And all the off. teeth are chewed off of it. So we were like, guys, someone took advantage of y'all. And they were like, we don't want the clutch. And so we took it. So we're gonna weld this to another clutch. That way, that way we don't lose any clutches. And we're and gonna achieve 70 miles per hour. I hope so, so I'm trying something different with the crankcase vent system. So, I'm just relocating it and hopefully it'll be fine. I drilled a hole right there at that boss. And if you look sideways, you'll see that any oil that gets sprayed at it will be directed away from the hole. And I put it in the center because the valves are right there too. Didn't want the valves to interfere with, but I found out that the spark, this, uh, the plug, plug wire, Needs to be turned a little bit when we have that there. Tim was like, oh, you're gonna make sure to, uh, you know, take the brass bushing out and weld, but... Mm, it'll be fine. I think if we take this clip off, we can just weld it all the way around with it off of the rest of the clutch while cooling it at the same time so we don't ruin that brass bushing. And then we're gonna have to do a lot of grinding to get it smooth again where we can put that clip on, right? If the clutch is totally wore out, we might be able to take this off and put it on a Ooh, okay, another one. clutch, okay, okay, hopefully, okay. Yeah. hopefully. Man, what do you got going on there? Genius, pure genius. So do, do those I, add speed too somehow? That's not gonna be on the clutch. I know, I know. <laughs> Anyhow, I ground the uh, old sprocket off, and there's the new one, and I'm using these washers to space the For washer. spacing purposes only. Yep, off the back side so we won't have any problems. Sweet. Yes. Cool, oh yeah, where's the old clutch? The one that I took off. All right, so here's a Go Power Sports, I think it's a Go Power Sports piece, 35. Yeah, so here's a Go Power Sports 35 chain, uh, 12 tooth, and I mean, you can't, I guess, see much of a difference right now, but. You 12 teeth, 15 teeth. Yeah. So hopefully it'll get us to upper 60s at least. I'm gonna, I'm 70. Gonna, I'm gonna guess 68. That's what it's gonna do to us. 70. It's gonna put us right there. Okay. 70. You got it, boss. You got it. Here we go. Cover. Ugly. But it'll be fine. Dinky. I mean, I didn't go all the way around, but I mean, this is for testing purposes and it should be fine until we get a good one from Go Power, go Power, Power Sports. Sports. Oh my God. <sighs> that ain't gonna fly. That's not gonna work, man. I guess we should have checked with, uh, after tapping it three different places before we welded the rest of the way. Yep. Well, we can try grinding it. Dude, three. that's a lot of welding, man. All right, so how'd it turn out, bud? Fine. Fine or great? Fine. Oh. I wish we had bought one from Go Power Sports well, at the time. You know, hindsight is twenty twenty. That's right. I think I'm gonna work on cutting this spring out. Okay, so we can get full throttle. So we can get full throttle. Sounds good. Because we needed to, to lengthen this old chain anyway, and it's pretty chunky, we're just gonna go ahead and replace it all together. There's nothing wrong with it, but it is, you know, chunky, kind of bunched up. Less resistance in the chain means more power that can get to the wheels. 
less of it is gonna be fighting for the chain. Oh, this is nice and buttery, man. Good. So buttery. Look at that. Chunky. Buttery. Do you want to run it out here for a second and uh, see if the chain will even stay on at like 30? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Did you hear it about idling whenever I went by you? Yeah. Did it throw the chain? It did throw the chain. Great. We got to tighten up the chain. Oh, so that's the problem. Yeah. Man, the thing, at like, I feel like at 35 miles per hour, the clutch is fully engaged and it's just above an idle. Chain is tight, I'm going on a test run. Uh, hopefully we'll keep the chain. Good to go. That was definitely one of the more stupid things I've done. I was kind of, I was moving. Oh yeah. She still's got, she still pulls though. Yeah. As soon as that clutch engages, she just. I'm pretty sure we got seven. Oh yeah. She feels good. Let's get her loaded up. Yeah. Call me what you want, dude. I don't feel comfortable with doing this. It's fine. This. It's fine. I'm not going to make you do it if you don't want to. No, I'm going to do it. Okay. Just go just beyond this. You got it. And let's uh, be quick about it. Yeah, this is good. Let's get, let's get her done. Let's get her done. How's the tank looking? Good. Not bad. That's pretty good to go. All right, I got it. You got the back. I'll get these GoPros fired up. Where's the helmet? 70 mile an hour attempts. Yes. Here you go. Yes. Be safe, buddy. Yeah. You gonna crank me up? I'm gonna crank you up and follow you. Give her some gas and yeah. stuff. Two miles yes, per hour. Two. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, buddy. Dude, yes. Yes. I was sitting in the car, dude. I was doing like like upper 60s and you were just walking away. <laughs> wow. Mm. You got the camera off? Yeah. She's stinky. I wonder how far I rode. Ooh, let's uh, let's let's try it. I think uh, the crankcase thing did help out a lot. I yeah. mean, I held her 
a long Why? time. Yeah. We would have blown it up without with the I think with the original. Yeah. Fire yeah. We reset it. Okay. It uh, was right here. That's one mile. One, one mile one exactly. Miles. We yeah. rode exactly a mile. Yeah. The other place was a half a mile, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we wouldn't have. It. It was a little touch and go there on the the getting up there to 70 it just didn't want to do it it was like toying with me 65 66 67 68 67 68 67 and you just held it and i just kept holding it and i'm like wondering what can i do what can i do and i started i trying saw to you hunching down hunching down and yeah. stuff to get a little bit more i even turned the phone to kind of block <laughs> some of the wind and and then 70 and i'm like yeah <laughs> and then and then it hit 72 and i was like ah! <laughs> how was the wind terrible yeah i'm sure you were just like getting blasted oh man I, it was i was doing i could feel my body being a sail slowing this go-kart down oh good times yes oh, sir man. that was great jeez don't try this at home ever. No. Ever. Don't do what we do. That's right. I'm so good. I feel good. Good. You yeah. feel alive? I feel alive. Good. Yeah. 72. What's Got a fan Go Power Sports. Wouldn't have been possible without Go Power Sports. Don't try it at home. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Camera Reviews. And check me out at Isaac It'll Be Fine. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. We're doing a steering rack on the all-wheel drive car, and I feel like this top speed stuff needs a little bit of a break before we just kill ourselves. Okay. All right. Yeah. Steering rack sounds good. Steering rack. And right. we still need to remove the governors on those engines. Do we? Do we? No. Fine. I mean... We got something that already goes fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. 72! I know. That's fast. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.